Thank you, Chairman. I've always known you to tell the truth, uh, at least on some occasions. Uh, thank you, all of you, for being here. Thank you for your service to our nation. I understand and appreciate uh, the crucial role that the National Guard and Reserve uh, play, our components play in our military. Disaster at home, around the world, uh, you are there and a great asset to the well-being and national security of our country. General Hokanson, uh, to follow up on Senator Shaheen's uh, beginning a, a conversation about uh, the space mission, when General Salzman was in front of this committee, I asked him about the creation of a Space National Guard. He testified that his best military advice supported the most cost-effective alternative that preserves operational capabilities. In your best military advice um, on creation of a Space National Guard, how would you answer that uh, request from General Salzman? Senator Brand, thank you for the question. And I would argue that the comments that the uh, Chief of Space Operations made describe exactly the uh, Air National Guard units performing the space mission. For my best military advice, when I look at um, the fact that we've been doing this mission for over 28 years, in some cases we're the only ones that have ever done those missions. We've got 14 units of about 1,000 people. Um, we're f about 30% of the operational squadrons today. And to me, my greatest concern is readiness to the force. And by simply redesignating those Air Guard units performing the space mission to a Space Guard type organization, um, I could do that within the resources that I currently have in my budget. And it would be, simply be from one drill weekend to the next where our airmen would change their name tape from Air Force to Space Force. And at no time would it interrupt the capabilities they provide to our nation. Um, the personnel would stay in the same place, same civilian jobs, doing the same mission that they're doing every single day today. In fact, some of them are deployed right now providing that support to our nation. My concern is if we looked at reestablishing them and another component, it could cost our nation about a billion dollars. And that is not only to restructure and rebuild um, this within a different component, but then also the need to retrain those current Air Guard members that are performing the mission into another mission set. And overall, when you look at this, it's, a, I think, a very easy decision. Th uh, thank you, sir. Um, I was going to ask you about the cost to stand up a National Guard component, and perhaps you've answered that but I'd give you the chance to, in, a, in a sentence to, to make that clear. Yeah. Yes, sir. So it, we look at the cost of about $640 million to remission what currently exists um, into a future type organization. Um, but the concern that we have is right now the Air National Guard space units are the only unit equipped surge to war go ca capability. Um, our Air Force Reserve counterparts that are being incorporated in the Space Force are primarily individual fillers, whereas the National Guard is actually man-trained and equipped units. Uh, the concern there as well is when you look at the 28 years of experience that we have, to replicate that or to reconstitute it may take seven to 10 years to get those folks through schools and trained, and I don't think our nation can afford to see that redu reduction in readiness over that time period. Uh, thank you, sir. General Daniels, uh, would you elaborate on the significance of the National, Rega National Guard Reserve Equipment Account uh, to the U.S. Army's Reserve's mission? Thank you for that. Um, it is vital to my ability to modernize. Um, the Army has focused on lethality and modernizing its lethality elements over the last several years and, and looking forward to the 2030, 2040 uh, future battles. Um, the Army Reserve is primarily combat support and service support, and therefore our, our modernization efforts have lagged behind those of the lethality elements. And so the Negria account supports about 35 to 40 percent of my ability to modernize in terms of raw dollar value. Uh, thank you. General Hokanson, uh, you and I have had a conversation. I appreciate what you told me. I have a goal of seeing that the star base yeah. Uh, program is expanded in Kansas. Uh, STEM education is hugely important to the national security and economic well-being of our nation. Star Base, which I have visited on several occasions, is very compelling in its mission and having success. But we have parts of the state, particularly the, those that are the most rural, that are underserved or unserved. And I appreciate your willingness to work with me to see that we change that circumstance. And General 
uh, Bellin, uh, we appreciate your service to the nation. Uh, thank you for your testimony today, but thank you for the years you have spent uh, in duty to country. And uh, all Kansans, and particularly those who uh, share your alma mater, uh, are particularly honored by that service.